Hey everyone, welcome to Reboot. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about my top five favorite jailbreak tweaks in 2020. So these tweaks are in no particular order, but they are some of my top favorite tweaks that I use day to day. And I'm pretty sure most of you guys would enjoy these if you guys don't have them already. Um, I'm on iOS 12.4. I'm pretty sure they do work on iOS 13 for those of you who are jailbroken on iOS 13. But I'll just double check before installing them just to make sure you don't uh, mess up your device or anything. So the first tweak is for those of you that like using Apple Pay. And this is actually two in one. The main tweak is called Amandis. So what Amandis does is it completely redesigns the look of Apple Pay. Instead of taking up the whole screen as it usually does, it creates this little banner up at the top with your card right here. And the second tweak that I'm using alongside with Amandis is called My Cards. And what My Cards does is it changes the look of your card. It's still your same card, but it just changes the look of it. And I mean, together, these two tweaks look really nice. So for our second tweak, we got Groupie, and what Groupie does is it changes the look of your notifications to these little pills right here. I think it looks really nice. I know there's other um, alternatives like Axon and Priority Hub, but I like the way these look. And if you go into your settings and your tweaks, it gives you many different options to change the way they look. For example, you can mess with the music controller, you could remove app icons on the banner, um, it gives you the ability to do dark mode, light mode, or system iOS 13. I'm not too sure what this one is, but it just changes like the shadow or overlay of the notification look. You could also either have circle icons, which is what I have right here, or square icons. For this to take effect, you have to respring, but I think the circles look better. Up next, we got Power Menu X, and what Power Menu X does is that it allows you to either respring your device, reboot, shut down, or put it into safe mode. I know there's other alternatives, but this is the one that works best for me on iOS 12.4 at least, and it still gives you that cool animation when you respring your device. If you go into our settings here, we have the option to configure Power Menu X. It doesn't have too many options, but Here's what it has. You could enable, disable the tweak. You could allow for the tweak to be used when your screen is locked. You could have haptic feedback when you actually use the tweak. So like when you actually enable the menu, like right now, your phone vibrates. And for me, I had to have SOS menu enabled for the tweak to actually work. You could change the style of Power Menu X to dark, light, adaptive. And you could also change the buttons. So these right here. These buttons, you could change those to dark, light, or adaptive as well. For me, I personally like a dark background with the light buttons. And of course, every time you change something, you have to respring your phone. Up next, we got Latch Key. And before you install this tweak, make sure you get it from the correct repo, which I'll put down below in the description. I installed one that was on Cydio when I searched it up, and that put my phone into a boot loop. And I thought I was going to lose my jailbreak, but... I was able to save it so make sure you get it from the repo that I put down below in the description so what latchkey does is that it allows you to customize your face ID lock as you can see I have it up on the left corner top left corner and I have a different theme for it and it actually is animated so when you unlock it it changes to like an unlocked icon um, it's kind of hard to see you could change the scale and position and everything but it's really nice. If you go into your settings here, go to latch key. Right here, it gives you many options to change the position of the lock, your theme, enable custom coloring, custom positioning, and it gives you a hide carrier. And of course, when you want to make a change, you have to respring. So if we go here to theme, right now I have cute lock, but say, um, like for example, we want to use check rain. Click that one, go back, respring. You should now see up on the top left, it has a check rain logo right here, and it is also animated. So right now I had it unlocked, but if you go, if you lock your device, as you can see, it's two separate chess pieces. But once I unlock my device, it shows animation. So it's really nice. Up next, we have charge animations, and what charge animations does is 
It gives you really cool animations when you plug in your phone to charge it. So for example, this is the one I have currently. So what this one does is it, it goes around mostly the whole edge of your phone. And depending on the percentage of your battery, if you're like low or full battery, it'll go like almost fully all the way around your screen. Since I only have like what uh twenty eight percent then it only goes like around the bottom half of the phone. So up to right there. There's many different animations for this tweak. It is free for three days and after that you have to pay to use it. So if we go into our settings and charge animations, here are some of the settings it offers. Um enable on lock screen, which is what I have. Always on loop, so I'm guessing like whenever your phone is plugged in, it'll always be on. Lock to animation. So every time your phone like you lock it, it goes to the animation when your phone is plugged in. Sleep after animation. So after the animation is done, your phone goes to sleep. Hype stock battery, background color, enable on springboard. So when you charge it while well, your phone is on, for example, right now, the animation will show up. And here are the different types of animations. You don't have to respring to view these. You could just click this little eye icon right here. So if you want to view them, uh, I think this one doesn't work. There's some that aren't working on my device. I don't know why. This one, blob. Uh, so if you go preview it, that's what it looks like. Um, Edge X, which is the one I have. This one right here. It's really nice. Let's go to Edge. I think that's for like another iPhone, maybe like the older iPhones. Hoops. Just like little rings down here. Jitterbolt. So like this. Watch OS. If you have an a Apple Watch, you get that little animation. And just a stock iOS one. This is what the, that one looks like. Really nice. Well, that's all for this video. If you need any help or have any trouble installing any of the tweaks that I mentioned earlier, you can feel free to message me or just leave a comment down below and I'll try to get back to you. I will be releasing future content like more cool tweaks, themes, iPhone setups. Right now I'm working on a setup, but it's not complete. So if you like this video, just stay tuned and I will be uploading more. Thank you. Peace. Yeah, 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 yeah